The world is full of good news. The following are just a few. Uruguayan President Jose Mujica announces a legislative measure being sent for parliamentary approval that invites private investment in projects such as railroads, highways, and seaports to expand infrastructure development for the benefit of all fellow citizens. Speaking in his role as mediator for talks between Azerbaijan and Armenia regarding the Nagorno-Karabakh region, Russian President Dmitry Medvedev conveys the hope that an outline for a more formal agreement will be in place by December. In a meeting with Yemen. Shura Council Chairman Abdul Aziz Abdul Ghani, British House of Lords Speaker Baroness Heyman affirms the government's full support of unity and democracy in Yemen. A collaborative 12-year study of people aged 18 to 94 by Stanford University and other researchers in the USA reveals that as people get older, they become happier, more emotionally balanced, and more caring. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's wife Sarah and Jerusalem Mayor Nir Burkat launch a nationwide breast cancer awareness campaign as they illuminate Jerusalem's historic old city walls in symbolic pink lights. Hosted by Afghan former journalist Rahim Mirzad, the TV game show Treasure offers the opportunity for citizens to win welcome cash while lifting spirits and fun at the same time. Researchers from the UK and South Korea discovered that they can grow stem cells from a yew tree, which could lead to the low-cost production of paclitaxel, a compound found in the tree's bark that is effective in treating various forms of cancer. Upon examining stone tools from Blombo's cave in South Africa dating back some 75,000 years years, researchers discovered that they were made by pressure flaking, suggesting that this highly skilled technique originated in Africa 55,000 years earlier than previously thought. Jewelry and artworks taken from a gallery in Texas, USA were found in a nearby church with a note requesting that they be returned to the gallery. Swedish-owned phone company Encel announces the installation of seven solar-powered cellular stations at locations along the route to the Mount Everest base camp in Nepal, intended to improve communication and safety for the region's residents and mountaineers. 